Today we are taking a trip back to the 1700s. That's when the French built the first of three forts in America. Who knew that where the first of those would be built would later become Indiana? News 18's Isabella Caruso is live from the Fort Wyatnon Preserve this afternoon. Isabella, there's a lot of exciting things that will soon be happening with the preserve. Trevor, the Tippecanoe County Historical Association is just now starting to release new information to the public about the preserve. I'm standing right here at the overlook of the preserve, which is where TCHA officials are wanting the public to come and stop and enjoy the view. And actually behind me in the distance, you can see the original site of the fort. And I'm told that there's a lot to be discovered underneath it. Now, the original site of the fort will eventually have small strategic excavations done, likely in the next year. TCHA officials told me Purdue University and University of Southern Indiana are collaborating to make that happen. There are also plans to develop an ADA compliant walking trail from the overlook where I'm standing all the way to the site of the original fort. And along that trail, there will be signs that tell the history of the site. Guillaume, Guillaume Lacroix, the French Consul General to the Midwest, just wrapped up a visit to Lafayette last week. Lacroix says Fort Wyatnon is considered one of the best preserved examples of a site of that type in the entire country. The fort that used to be here is very unique compared with other forts, other French forts in the region because the site has been uh, searched and explored and it has probably the largest amount of archaeological treasures because there is no city as you can see behind us. If you look at your screen now, I receive these images from a Tippecanoe County Historical Association official. In this first image, I'm told this is what is below ground of the original fort site at the preserve. Officials believe that those lines are the original walls of the fort. And the second image is what officials believe the fort looked like. I'll have those images put those images posted on our website at WLFI.com. And I was actually told that Consul Lacroix was the first French citizen in 250 years to step on Fort Wyatnon here in Lafayette during his visit last week. If you would like to learn more about the history of the Fort Wyatnon Preserve, you can head to our website at WLFI.com. Reporting live in Tippecanoe County, Isabella Caruso for News 18. Fascinating stuff. Okay, Isabella, thank you. Two members of